What is up y'all, it's D's Fishing Line back here with another video and today we're going to be doing something pretty freaking special. I've never done it, I've seen it. It's pretty popular on YouTube, but we're going to be doing the survival fishing bracelet challenge. So what you do is you could buy it or make it or whatever and it comes with fishing line and hooks. And uh, this one I made, yes I can make them. So if y'all want a tutorial on how to make them, let me know in the comments. But yeah it's pretty cool i mean we're gonna this is a survival fishing bracelet challenge i guess so we're gonna see what we can do here and see if we can catch some fish so we'll put you on the gopro and see what happens later all right guys so we're right here by the water this is a big lake but we're out here in this little slough and right here we got the bracelet looks pretty cool huh so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna disassemble it this is it right here. I double layered it. And what I put inside of it was fishing line and hooks. So we're gonna go ahead and take apart this thing and rig it up. And I got some night crawlers right here right behind me and we're gonna see if we can catch some bluegill or something in the water. Okay, so here we got right here. I'm gonna take my knife. Gerber, it's not sponsored, but what we're gonna do is um all right guys we finally got it disassembled now we just gotta get it off this line i meant the paracord my bad just go ahead and get this off of here oh my god it is so freaking windy right now dudes like Okay, there we go. Looks like a spiral, but be all right. Still use it. I mean, if we were in a survival situation, I mean, we would have to do what we have to do. So we're gonna pretend that we're in a survival situation. Now in here, right there is where the hooks are. So we're gonna try to get this apart so this is what the hooks are in the rest of this is probably used for like you know rope or something to climb but we're not doing that today we're just going to be using the fishing products now what we're going to do is we're going to take one of these hooks and put it and tie it on just like that so we're gonna get this thing rigged up with these night crawlers right here and uh, we'll get to catching some fish see you then okay guys we got the hook tire on now we're gonna get these night crawlers dang these are big juicy ones look at this all right let's get one hooked right here like that and like that there we go just like that now let's put this up oh my god this wind let's put this up now what we're going to do is step right down here in this water oh that is cold we're just going to toss her on out oh I had one Oh, this is cold. Oh, I had one. It took my bait. A little cracker. Toss it down like that. Ooh, got one. Whoa, what is this? Oh, sunfish. Look at that, boys. Got us a nice size sunfish, man. He swallowed it. Okay, guys, there we go. Oh, man, he's bleeding pretty bad, but look, check him out. He's a good size. He's good eating size. 
Oh, there he goes. Well, swallowed my hook. And, well, if I was going to eat him, I would have kept him, but this is just for entertainment purposes. So, yeah, guys, survival fishing challenge is complete. Man, it took me a while to catch that guy, too. Caught him under that rock right there. Right there. He's pretty big. He's about as big as my hand. I mean, look, he's just bleeding really bad. I feel bad for him. I didn't mean to. My intentions wasn't supposed to, you know, kill him, but. Oh, man. Man, I felt pretty good, man. I didn't think I was going to catch a. A fish like that. I thought I was gonna catch a little bluegill like that, but hell yeah. Out in Canyon Lake in New Braunfels, Texas. I was gonna, if this was a catching cook, I would have ate him, but unfortunately this is not so yeah. I guess we're gonna go ahead and pack up and go home. My little brother is whining and complaining that he wants to go home, so we're gonna pack up and go ahead and go to the house. Alright guys, that sucks. That that sunfish that swallowed the hook and I didn't mean to kill him like that, but if it was a catch cook, I would have ate him. But if you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, turn the notifications on, and let me know what y'all want next next video. But anyways, we'll see you next time on the D's Fishing Life channel. Later.